Hello, this is Bug News, and today we're going to talk about Sabrina from Ready to Love Potomac, not DC. Um, before we uh, get up on that bus and wrap it up, let's uh, let's just give Sabrina some credit of who, what she's done in her life and what she's accomplished. As you know, Sabrina's fairly intelli- intelligent. She's a Afro Latina. Um, to the best of our knowledge, she's from the Bay Area, and particularly from a special part of the Bay Area that's considered an island. And as you know, the demographics in the Bay Area is a little different than the de- demographics probably anywhere in the country, especially in particularly if you're, you know, you're in San Francisco, a lot of LGBTQ, uh, a lot of um, open-minded hippie people, um, a lot of political history. All in the Bay Area, Oakland, uh, San Francisco, and that, that island that Sabrina may have grown up on. But anyway, and then during this process, Sabrina went, has taken herself and she's gone to college and she's obtained a degree and she's also obtained a master's degree. And um, she's put it to good use. She got married, from what she said herself, she got married young. Now, this person may or may not be a black person. Not that it matters, but may or may not. She got married young, and um, uh, she she still was able to do things right. So throughout her career, she's mostly been affiliated with nonprofits, and then she probably um, she's been doing like grassroots work and raising money for these nonprofits. And she's been a very influ- influential, uh, excuse me, influential person in the community um, across the country. Basically, she's probably hell. She probably even shook hands with Obama. Um, but she's mostly, you know, did a lot of work on the East Coast, as we say, you know, she's been helping black people and Latino people, um, to develop, you know, get them into programs and things like that with the, the various not And she's also spent some time in New York. Um, so she's always, she's a, probably a good negotiator and communicator, you know? Um, now recently she did an interview with Crystal XO, and I'm gonna have the link in the, I mean the interview in the description. And um, we found out that a couple of things. Well, we found out her and Donovan may have been doing some pocket parking lot pimping. We don't know. It's all a ledge. Uh, but she said there was some heavy kissing and other. I don't know what the other was, but I'm gonna just say you know maybe some finger popping, pop like pitching. And then as you see, we get right to the point. Um, and then she. Um, Later on, Demetrius found out about this incident, and he he stopped talking to her. Um, and how did Demetrius find out? Did does Donovan kiss and tell? Because this is what Sabrina basically said. So, um, whatever he said, whatever Donovan told Demetrius, um. He, he kind of lost interest in Sabrina for a while, but it, they sort of worked it out. And um, that's why. I, um, but she said this happened like a couple of days before they were supposed to meet. Well, he asked her to meet his, his parents. And then on top of that, when I say he, Demetrius, Demetrius told his, his his group of his family. So who knows? That could have been a setup. And like I said, Sabrina's a smart woman. She said, ah, nah, I ain't going down that road on TV. You ain't got to bring it up. but They can bring it up. So. And then Sabrina admitted that when she she broke the rules when she met with Donovan because they they had been drinking they had met out and other you know but on the flip side we go back to Tori so let's go over Sabrina's body count she clearly just shot Paul down who she probably should have messed with um, we're gonna come back to that later why she probably should have messed with Paul but we know he got good credit um, but she shot she shot Tori. Tory down unfortunately she said he was entertaining but physically she wasn't attracted to him but she was physically attracted to Demetrius but he was boring so I guess if you're looking to date Sabrina um, you gotta look like a a, a shock zoodle god with some and be able to sing and dance I don't know but um, so she she said this. She said this all out of her own mouth. Um, <laughs> she said uh, Donovan was attractive, but I guess and then it's also charming. But he's from Cali too. 
but um, she just uh, wasn't too fond of his lifestyle because he too was recently divorced and of course you know he was he had cheated so we're assuming that maybe Sabrina husband cheated on her just so make there's Sabrina and also in the video just pointed out that she prior to coming on the show she had you know like inked a deal on the divorce paper so that was, let's say three months before then COVID came in so she was home alone she was in therapy um, so then she gets up on the show remember she's from Cali and particularly North Cali and she gets on the show she come east you know a lot more black people and she gets on the show and it's all these black men successful and well the check off the boxes let's just say that and you know so she became oh I'm just a girl who want to have fun allegedly and people were triggered because she didn't pick anyone even if she you know turned them down at the end they were still mad and it was it was not just men it was women too oh she just used them you know she just used them to get to the end you know because I, I don't think anyone has seen anyone turn down three people in a row on the show and um usually you know they pick one of the you know but her body count she was laying them down but we have to keep in mind if we go back to demetrius when he said um you know take my last name sabrina's from the bay so she got that feminist attitude not attitude she has a feminist and liberal mindset on different things so she's gonna stick strong to that she raises money for people she has to fight for money she has to fight for these people in a different causes so, so you know you, you're just going to get a little fighter from her you know then who knows she might have come from humble beginnings and, you know she had to fight fight <laughs> so she probably not afraid of but so much um but she probably should have stuck with poe poe's a good talker uh he can adapt in roles and he can blend in you know Plus, he was in the entertainment industry, so, you know, he always had an answer for everything. That's perfect. That's Poe. But she didn't want Poe. Uh, like we said, Tori probably was just not her type, as she said it. I mean, not her, physically, not her type. And she said she's still hanging around with Tori. Why is Tori still hanging around this woman? Go go write those love songs, because you know your heart's hurt, and get that album out to somebody. You know, make some money off this situation. So, and he's probably still hanging around because he still he, he may still think he has a trans whereas Demetrius ain't even talking to her. Uh whatever. I'm a Zulu god, baby. Forget you. You ain't want me. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. But anyway, what do you think? Do you think um this uh Afro Latina, very intelligent feminist who says she's for love? A hopeless romantic is really a hopeless romantic or she just out here you know a man you know like yeah so what so what i met with donovan we drank you know i let him taste a little flower or whatever he said don't tell nobody because he got daughters but yet he go and tell dude you know what do you think what do you think do you think she was um sabrina's okay you, or you think she's a man eater you know Remember, she she just got a relationship, long term marriage. She probably married the guy was young. She came East Coast. All she wants, she just she just a, she just a Afro Latina just just want to have some fun. Um, so tell us what you think. This is Bug News. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much.